Well, I'm still waiting for my CNC parts, uh, but the good news for me at least is that they are here in three days. So while I'm waiting, I have also prepared quite a lot. And I've also been looking into this with the chip load uh, for a better understanding. And I saw uh, on a page called Cotton It Close that he has made um, an Excel sheet uh, for his workers to use in his uh, company. I tried to modify this a little bit so it maybe would be easier to do several calculations and I all it was in inches so I also have uh, converted this for uh, millimeters and inches. The seat works as, as follows it it does not have as many uh, wood types as I made in the past and it does not have so many tools either it's mainly referred to end mills but it has uh, from uh, 1 3 6 10 12 millimeters or if you want to see it in inches it will be here I mean I'm not sure if this 1532 and 364 is correct please help me with, with the right tool diameter here in inches anyway it's categorized on hardwood playwood MDF that's softwood, soft plastics, hard plastics, and then there's a last line with a depth of cut, which is a maximum. Below that, there is a calculation page, and the green field is the result, and it cannot be edited at all. The blue is where you can enter your data. But you have a project and you need to use, uh, maybe plan to use a three millimeter and it is uh, MDF. So I just move out here to MDF and you see there are three numbers. Uh, it depends a little bit on your machine. Uh, if your machine is not that strong or uh, I don't know, could be several options. You want to be careful. It, this is a chip load per tooth here. And in this case, it's 0 0.033 millimeters. The last one is the highest chip loads recommended for this tool. And the light green one is the average. So you are between these two numbers. So let's say we have uh, the chip load here now and I want to find the feed rate. And uh, in this chip load, I can enter when I want to check for the chip load. I can enter here, and the green one is the result for the feed rate. So that's a, that's a part of of the sheet I need to I need to uh, to use. And I said it was 0 0.037. That was the average. Well, now it says. Uh, 1320, uh, 1,321 millimeters per, per minute, and that is with two fluids. I know that I have four fluids on my six millimeter end mill, so I have to enter the four. And it gives me with 17,850 RPM it gives me 2643 millimeter per minute um, Now I can adjust as an example my RPM uh, the old spindle were only 10,000 Turns per minute and that would tell me here that I could maximum run 1480 my new spindle is uh, different it has 24 turns per minute, which gives 3552. Well, I think maybe that's a little bit too hard for my machine. When I am finished building it and then dialed it in, we will absolutely play with this, uh, with this uh, examples here. So there's also another way to go, and that is to find the RPM. 
uh, compared to your machine. And I can then go here and say 0 0.0370. And I still have four flutes. And maybe I want to run, let's say, 1200 millimeters per minute. And that gives me an RPM on 8108. This is uh, more convenient for my machine also because it, it, it will maybe get rid of the chips on, on a better way. So if this now would have been only with one fluid, I mean, I would have to run on maximum speed. Uh, and that is in my case 24,000. But here it exceeds really a lot. So if I go up on this one now and enter one with one fluids and, uh, and put 24,000 in, you can see my maximum on this one is 888. And that's still not the truth because I could go up to this one. So let's try that. 0 0.141. And the maximum I can do with one fluid on my machine is 984 millimeters per minute and the plunge rate of 492. So you can also find the chip load or at least say, okay, I will work with my three millimeter yeah, tool. It has two fluids and the two here. I expect my my feed rate to to be here. Let's say if we still go, we need to end on 0 0.014 around that number there. Maybe we need to go down to 0 0.015, 0.018. We are close to there. I will go. Six, one five. Okay, we are on a maximum now, um, and I could maybe go to five five one uh, zero point one three. That's yeah, average, and that's uh, approximately what we find with twenty twenty thousand uh, RPMs. We will be on five hundred and fifty millimeters per minute. So. You can see where you end up on, on, on this uh, uh, playboard here as an example or uh, playboard which is here and uh, it, you can find the, the settings by playing around with the numbers. So this is a three ways to find either chip load, uh, feed rate or RPMs. So thanks for watching. Uh, you can download this tool, find it in the description below and uh, yeah, see you another day, another time. Bye-bye.